Go forth into all the world and preach the gospel. That's what Jesus said. And it wasn't a suggestion, it was a mandate. We've been doing that vigorously for 46 years, and we just returned from one of the most important, poignant, and timely outreaches we've ever conducted in the beautiful country of Taiwan. Be Hi, this is John Stemkowski, and welcome to Encouraging Words. Today is the second in a series of sharing with you some of the amazing things that our God did during our recent outreach in Taiwan. Now, this Taiwan outreach has actually been three years in the making. In 2021, it was shut down by COVID as the entire country exploded into a full-blown pandemic. 2022, we had a clarion call from Poland concerning the Ukrainian refugee crisis brought on by Russia's war in Ukraine. But God always has a special timing. He always has a perfect timing. And it seems that 2023, just a few weeks ago, was the exact perfect time for celebrant singers to be in ministry in Taiwan, that beautiful, amazing island nation. And the results were magnificent. God opened doors all over that country, and our intention today is to share with you some of the joy, some of the great reports of how God worked by His Spirit among the Taiwanese people. Just to bring a little context for you, Taiwan is a country of 24 million people, and they're all packed onto an island just 240 miles long and 90 miles wide at its widest point, and sits just 112 miles off the coast of one of the most aggressive, repressive regimes on the face of this earth, that being communist China. And China has made no secret that one of their top priorities is to eventually reunify with Taiwan, which in essence is a euphemism for take them over. Each and every day, the Chinese military saber rattles in an attempt to intimidate and to instill fear in the Taiwanese people. These activities have been going on for quite some time, and it doesn't seem as though they're going to let up anytime soon. But one thing I do know is that light always dispels darkness. Let me say that again. Light always dispels darkness. And we had an opportunity to go to Taiwan at this particular time in their history, with all of this attempt by the Chinese to instill fear and intimidation and to share the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. It was a magnificent time, a historical time, a time when God by his spirit manifested himself. And so today, by means of some footage that we've collected for you, we want to take you with us the best we can to see and to understand how God by His Spirit moved among the Taiwanese people. In an effort to do this, we sort of put some footage of Taiwan in conjunction with a song that we recorded years ago called Be Strong and Take Courage. Our message in Taiwan was twofold. First of all, there was an evangelization component because Taiwan only has a 4% Christian population. There are not many who know the Lord. So certainly we had a an aggressive evangelization component, but also to the body of Christ. The body of Christ, our message was simply this, put your roots down deep, for there's a storm coming your way. Put your roots down deep in Jesus so that you can stand strong, and in the meantime, find comfort and assurance in his presence that he knows your name, that you're not alone, that he sees your plight, and he's fully on your side. So open your heart as for just a few minutes, we take you into the ministry time from which we've just recently returned in Taiwan, using the song, Be Strong and Take Courage. And let's see what the Lord did during those 14 precious days that we had on the beautiful island nation of Taiwan. <music> Be 
this footage has helped to give you a little peek into what God did during those precious two weeks in Taiwan. In closing, a few thoughts, a couple of thoughts. We can look at the needs in Taiwan, and they were significant, no question, and they're in a unique part of their history under a lot of pressure. But there are needs also in the lives of people that you know, in your own life and in your own sphere of influence. And I'd like to encourage you today to take a twofold look, a local look and a broader look. Jesus said, for example, that we were to be his witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the earth. Each one of us has a Jerusalem. You have people in your family, in your life, people with whom you work and go to school, 
that need Christ. They need the Lord and they need ministry. And that ministry will often be Jesus by his spirit coming through you. So I want you to think about this idea to look at the people around you and say, what is my part? Because each and every believer has a part, has a responsibility, has a mandate, if you please, from the Lord to share the story of Jesus, the cross of Jesus Christ, the resurrection, the path to salvation with our family and friends. Consider that. And then I also want to put a challenge forth to Christians, to believers, in this way. There are those normal things in life and people that God gives us opportunity to minister to, and we should obey those and follow those, be sensitive to them, open to the Holy Spirit to be used. And then there are unusual things that happen in our world. I would put Taiwan's present situation in that category. Taiwan could be considered a hot spot, and I want to encourage Christians today to look beyond yourself. And if God has given you gifts, or certainly a heart of compassion, I would encourage you to have the, um, the energy and the courage to go forth and to bless people in the hot spots of the world. Maybe you're not a singer, but you could go and be part of a mission trip. I think that the Lord wants us to be not only in Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria, but also in the uttermost parts of the earth. So I encourage you to minister to those folks that are in your life every day and ask God to give you a vision of where you can serve when these hot spots in the world break out. And let me tell you, there will be more of them as we go along. More of them. Last year it was Poland and the Ukrainian refugees. This year, Taiwan. What will it be next year? What's happening in our world? And of course, even here in our own United States, there's a lot of chaos, a lot of pushback, a lot of mocking of the gospel. I had a discussion with a person this morning, and we concluded that which we know God will never allow himself to be mocked. Each of us need him. Each of us need him so badly to come into our lives, forgive us of our sins, and change us from the inside out by the ministrations of his Holy Spirit. Next week, We'll put forth our third and final episode of a report on Operation Taiwan. And I hope that this gives you a little glimpse because I really think that many of us don't have a good grasp on the very precarious and tenuous situation they are in. We need to keep these folks in our prayers. And if possible, we need to have many, many outreaches that go and openly, vigorously share the love of Jesus with these precious people. I want to pray for them. I want to pray for you. Let's pray together. Father, we pray today for your children in Taiwan. We don't want to forget them. We don't want them to believe that somehow those of us who walk with you are not concerned about them, for we are. Father, bless the people in Taiwan. Protect them. Draw them closer to yourself. Let, in fact, their roots go down deep in you, just in the way that we need to do that, to have our roots go deep down in you also so that we can stand the storms of life. Again, let your blessing be poured out upon the Taiwanese people. And we also cry out that you'll give us vision, strength, courage, and compassion to respond to the needs locally, but also in the hot spots, the places where people are suffering in this world. And now, dear friend, I pray for you. I pray for the concerns that you have in your life today. Father, by your Holy Spirit, bless and minister to our friend. Whatever it is they're facing, bring your power, your love, your compassion to bear. Spirit of the living God, please touch our friend today and meet their every need in spirit, mind, and body. We love you, Jesus. We thank you for hearing our prayer. And we pray these things with gratitude in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thanks so much for being with us today. We've enjoyed, as always, being with you. And we'd love to hear from you. 
take a moment, make a comment below the video, or better yet, send me an email and let me know how you're doing. And if these videos are of encouragement to you, please take opportunity to share them with your family and friends. And should you need prayer for anything, as always, let us know that also, would you? And we will pray for you. A little program note, we have this series of three reports on Taiwan, but coming up on Friday, October 14th, we're going to do our annual homecoming celebration and special report via the internet, online, via YouTube and Facebook, and I want to give you a heads up for that. Put a little circle on the calendar, save the date, Friday, October 14th at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific. Celebrant Singers Grand Homecoming Celebration and Special Report. It will feature the time in Taiwan. It will take a little look at the shape that our world is in and what we can do about it and what the future plans are for Celebrant Singers. Write that date down. Don't forget it. Plan to be with us. Have some friends with you. God bless you today. And remember that no matter what's happening in your life, you have a high priest who is not untouched by the feeling of your infirmities. He knows your frame and he wants to meet your needs. We look forward to seeing you next time on Encouraging Words. Be strong and take courage. Your Now, for the first time in their 45-year history, read the compelling story of this miracle-filled ministry and the man behind it. This inspiring story of faith and courage will deeply touch your life.